Hey guys, this is uh, Touch Twin here for Speechless Gaming. Now, I just found out a really easy way to get pixel art or any type of art into your server or your single player world. I personally want to ease you to a server, but let me show you guys what uh, what you can do. So now, you're gonna there's gonna be a link in the description for SpriteCraft. Then you want to download the full version. You don't have to donate. It says you should, but you don't have to. So you get the full version. And it's gonna be in a jar file just like this. Um, so all you gotta do is just open it. Save it to your desktop. Open it. It'll open this right here. Now you can do the logo if you want as a test, or you can browse and choose your picture that you want. So I'm just gonna use this simple uh, fish picture right here because that's just what I have on my desktop. Now if you didn't want to make this in your server manually, you can just do this. So you click that and then choose your height. And the max width you shouldn't you should just leave it uh, no max. Now the height will mess things up, it'll make it look funny. So you want to see the height looks at 64, you can create Minecraft Blitter Paint right here. And the fish will look like that. Now that one looks kinda weird. I probably shouldn't choose the fish, it's got uh, awkward colors right here. The colors won't work, so I'll actually choose another thing. Let's choose uh let's see. I decided to go with uh, cooked chicken because I thought it might be a little bit easier to see the colors. And there, it'll look like kind of like that. I mean, that's as close as you're gonna get. It'll uh, guess and tell you which one down here if you just wanted to make it yourself. Not super schematic. So, you do it here. Now you're gonna type save schematic. Save it anywhere you're gonna know. So I prefer desktop. So I have some more right here. That's right. Chicken. Save. Connect that one out. Now it'll show up uh, in your whatever spot right here. So what I'm gonna do is go to my file client, file client, FileZilla, and you can go. I don't know if you know how to use it or not, but go to wherever you can upload files to your server. So right now I'm in my plugins file, World Edit and Schematics. You can go back here, World Edit, the Schematics, and these are all my Schematics right here. So I'm just gonna drag this chicken in here. Wait for it to load, it's queued, successful. Minimize this. And when I go on to my server, it might lag a little bit because I am recording right now. But we're going to try this anyway. So go to my server. Right here. So I'm just in the spawn, just uh, get out of here. As I was coming out of the spawn, I noticed I, my friend, my brother, put this in here. It's the render of the Glock you might have saw. So that's how it came out. It looks pretty nice on the server. This one's huge. So what we're going to do is just try to find some empty land. So this looks about right. It looks like some abandoned shit. So now to load the schematic, you're going to do the 2 slash scoreboard that it Schematic. Schematic wrong. Schematic load, and then the name that you saved it to. So I'm just chicken. And it will say chicken loaded. So then you can do it with paste. Now, this, this feature is kind of bad, I think, for World Edit because the pasting does not usually go the way you want it. So, I'm just going to do paste, and I'll show you what I mean. Now, you can be standing here, it'll, it'll paste relative to you. So it may take a little bit. See, look, just pasted right there, like completely random. So I've done this. I've destroyed that guy's house. You may see. I'm gonna have to undo that when I'm done. And this may not be lagging. Uh, it might be lagging a little bit. But as you can see, there is the picture that it was. There is the chicken right there. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do other things too. So we're back to here. Now, remember when I said I get, like the height will adjust, so I mean, if that chicken's too big for you, you can adjust this. Now, but it will look worse and worse as the smaller it gets. So here's the blueprint, and that didn't look as worse. It's just a simple color chicken, whatever. It doesn't really do anything. But I'll show you as with that Glock, it will look worse as we go. So I'm going to get to the Glock. Okay, the 
clock render right here. So that's what it normally would look like. Again, so you don't notice it to 64 and 128 for flat would be the best quality you would get with no width. That'd be the best quality you would get out of that picture right there. All those little blocks would be incredibly large picture, so you probably needed to like load and lag and all that. 64 is normally that's the clock that you saw in the spawn that I showed you. Again, you, it, it does get a little bit less quality, so you can get those other colors in there, all that. People might like that, it's not bad. And then to get even smaller, 32 on um, fine picture like this, it'll look worse and worse as you go down. See, so yeah, now it looks pretty much like crap. Um, any image do that except the course small images that are already small, and largely get to look worse. And again, just choose whatever how you want, whatever think whatever you think would look best for your server. And this will again do it to any picture. Um let's see, I'll show you. Uh, let's go to the Facebook thing, my background. It'll be that. Um micro blueprint, it'll look like shit like that. But again, you go to 128, the highest for flat land, it'll look crystal clear. Amazing. I mean that doesn't, but it does when you put it in the game. You see this entire thing. And then down here again, everything is used with. Alright, well, thanks guys. Uh, join our server if you need to, and then we're making a new home game server. It's coming out soon. I know I've been active for a while, but I, mean, I think this will help you guys out a lot. Links will be in the description. One more thing, you can also put these into your uh, your single player world. You're just going to need to download MC Edit, which I might have a link in the description yet. I'm not quite sure. But MC Edit right here, you can open that up, drop the schematic into there. And then import it into your other world. Alright, thanks guys.